just they were, they were coming in, intimidating and closing in on him. So he, uh, Two banners, isn't that perfect? Here's the one, here's the one. Yeah, all this coffee's blue. It's down for parade. Yeah, here's the user bullying attack. All right, we're celebrating the banner up. I was going to celebrate. You know, it's a freedom. Do you know they assaulted a veteran? They pushed him to the floor. Yeah, the, with the bagpipe. I yeah. saw. And he's been arrested now. Yes. Who's been arrested? A veteran. Yeah. Yeah. Stand yeah. What, sorry? What, a veteran that's done by the cop? Yeah. Wow. You know that? It's on Twitter. It's gone what, viral. Yeah, it's gone viral. So it must have happened when I was on my oh, way up in it. Tony, I want them to go to see. Go to the police. Are you standing up to this? I'll stand up to this. There's an accent to the K1C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. There's a lot of people out there who change their yeah, yeah, the symbols yeah, to be facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's been retweeted. All right, well, can you hear me? Yeah. Are you in good voice today? Yes. Remembrance Sunday, the 8th of November, Speaker's Corner Hyde Park, where we're here defending the right to free speech. Okay, now we said all along that this new lockdown would be more fake than the first one, and it is. We know as a fact there's actually declining illness rates on their own measurements. Their own measurements are fake anyway. But even their own measurements show there's declining interest, declining illness rates across most parts of London. Yet we have a lockdown. So this thing is a fake virus. It's a virus. It's a virus. And the measures against the virus are not to control any, any illness. They are to control you yeah. 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 and destroy the economy yeah. and take away your jobs and rights. Yeah. That is what it's about. There's been bigger illnesses in the past, yeah. like 1957. The economy wasn't closed down. The illnesses went away and everybody carried on after a few months. Right. No problem. So we challenge Boris Johnson, Priti Patel yes. and Sadiq Khan yes. to debate. Demand number one is reinstate the British economy now. No. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Number two, give our freedoms of movement and speech back now. Yes. Yes. In fact, don't give them back, we take them back. Yes. Right? And support all businesses against the lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. Many businesses define the lockdown. We say you go and shop, we work in those businesses, carry on, support businesses against the lockdown, go online and look for it. That's Do right. it now. Yeah. And the third thing we want is my brother back in the Labour Party. Yeah. Sadiq Khan, what do you think about that? You support the Broad Church Labour Party? Who are you, Sadiq Khan? All you want to do is close down London even more than Boris. Yeah. This is insanity. Insanity. That's right. So we say, we want to have an inquiry now. Well, there's an inquiry going on, and I want to tell you about this. Uh, it's gotten pretty quiet because of all the lockdown. But there's currently an inquiry going on into police infiltration of left-wing groups and, and all groups actually since 1968 and I am a subject of this inquiry I'm giving important evidence and we know then 1968 for 10 20 years they spied on many people including me I was followed by three policemen for 10 years infiltrating my organization and some of those policemen, of course, formed relationships with women and produced children. Yeah. An utterly scurrilous, evil, evil, evil attack on human rights. Now, that was illegal, but the government have recently said measures that can be taken by infiltrators, even if they're illegal. So they're changing the rules. So this inquiry happening now is going to be told, oh, Mr. Corbyn, these transgressions against you, they were illegal, but now they're legal. 
That could be the case. In fact, it is the case because they've changed the law. Now, why are they doing this now? Well, one is, of course, to scare us. Um, the other is, of course, to actually attack people who are resisting now, right? This is what it's about. It's an attack on all rights. So I say to my, my, my brother, he must be reinstated too. That's right. The political attacks on organisation are the same thing. Members of the Labour Party and, and other parties have to wake up and join the dots. Mm. It's all very well they've been against oppression in general. Yes, they're against infiltration. Yes, but it's, uh, they should be against the actual attacks on human rights now, yeah. namely the Covid con. Yeah. They've got to wake up. And remember, when the government just hands out money to bail out businesses, in the end, that is going to be the end of those businesses. Yeah. They accept the money, but they're going to have to pay it back. One problem. The other thing is, printing money leads to inflation. So in the end, there'll be massive inflation, prices will go up, everybody with savings will lose out. So all the middle class people with savings will lose out. Working class people will be shoved out of jobs and employed at even lower wages than now, run by the mega corporations. Okay, now if you want details of those things, go to stopnewnormal.net or any of those other organisations on there, Stand Up X, Event 202 and Save Our Rights. Get information on fighting back. Now we've got three weeks of this campaign uh, against the lockdown, because they have a lockdown imposed on us now. And I'm glad to see a lot of people are not And if you're scared of demonstrating, just bear in mind, they're trying, they're here to intimidate us, but I, even when they do mass arrests like last time, 190, 200 arrested a few days ago. That was only 1% of people on the demo. Mm. Only 1%. So there's a 99% chance you're going to be okay. And if you stay out of trouble, you will be okay. I was the only one that was charged, Piers. Okay. Was only one charge? Just me. The rest well, got released well, under investigation. Woo! Hero! 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 I got released. And for most of the demos, it's only 0.03% that get arrested. <laughs> so just go there, demonstrate, fight for your right. right. If you don't, we lose. Yeah! yeah. Freedom! Okay. Freedom! 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 Now we've got three weeks of this lockdown. A week for a campaign each week. This week is a campaign of explanation in your areas. Set up our movement action groups in your areas. It's easy, just form yourself. But you can email us, stopnewnormal.net, we'll tell you more. But just do it and go round with leaflets, go round with megaphones in cars. They can't stop you doing that. You go round with megaphones in cars, in housing estates, and tell people, check out the truth, go to these websites, stopnewnormal.net and Stand Up X and so forth. Check out the truth for yourself and resist, defy, and do not comply. So that's the first week of campaigns of explanation. The second week, campaigns to take masks off. You all here have got masks off, mostly. Some there, I don't know why you're wearing a mask. But look, the masks are unhealthy. They're a symbol of submission. That is all they're for. They keep your toxins in your breath, you rebreathe them. They reduce your breathing by 4% and cutting your oxygen supply by 4%. And some people faint under this. Jeremy and wears a mask. Pregnant women, for example, <laughs> do, uh, have been fainting under this. How could your brother wear a mask? Well, yeah. because they're following the stupid instructions on uh, organisation suggestions from the trade union movement. The trade union movement are comply, comply, comply now. Many yeah, individual yeah. trade unions want to fight back and they should fight back and demand their leaders become accountable or the drive street? them out at the first opportunity. I'm perfectly serious. But it is ridiculous the Labour movement are going along with it. And remember the same happened in Nazi Germany in the 1930s. The Labour movement, remember Sir Wally Hitler, it was the National Socialist Party. They went along with Hitler, they thought they'd get concessions from Hitler, they thought after Hitler it would be our turn. But hundreds of their leaders were murdered on the night of the Long Knives, June, June the 30th, 1934. That's what happened to them. 
doing deals with evil is no answer. Right. The trade unions have to stand firm with us now. Yeah. Yeah. Never forget. And if you're in a trade union, and a lot of you probably are, go and tell them. Okay. Now, I was going to also read some quotes from Lord Sumption today, um, but Haiku has um, had to move on and he was going to give them to me. But Lord Sumption, great guy, one of the few law lords standing up for rights. And he quotes us, he quotes me, stop you normal and stuff I've been saying a lot, which is fantastic. You know, when we have a new future, we'd make him part of it. We'd sweep out all these idiots now running us in Parliament, all these conflicts of interest. If we remove conflict of interest from the Cabinet, it'll be an empty Cabinet. <laughs> That'll be a much better way of running the country, <laughs> wouldn't it? And that's for Parliament, well, most of them have conflicts of interest, serious conflicts of interest. Not all of them. I mean, my They're brother all firm against all that stuff. But nevertheless, him and others are being misguided by morons, liars, thieves and fake scientists who are employed by the government to brainwash people. And remember, Parliament is even more brainwashed than the public. Mm. Don't feel sorry for them though, shout at them. Demand accountability and truth. Now I see they aren't doing anything yet now, but I think maybe it might be an idea to uh, end pretty soon. And I won't end with a couple of slogans. The Shout main slogan Morgan, is, you know time is Morgan, the leader, speak up resist. Queen Elizabeth, speak up Queen Elizabeth, fuck ISIS, speak up Morgan, go, 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 Resist, defy and do not comply. That is our message. Do not comply. <laughs> Start moving our way that way, sir. There's a national lockdown. You start moving, okay? Start moving home, please. Okay? You need to be out here for essential matters, which, which includes which includes exercise for physical and mental health. Physical and mental health. Rid of the regulations, officer. Physical and mental health. Exercise for physical and mental health. Are you going to arrest me like you did the other night? Doing I suggest nothing. you haven't read the regulations, officer, because you know it's exercise for mental and physical health. What about that old fool who pushed to the ground at the Senator on Remembrance Sunday? How do you feel about that?
Come on, guys, keep moving that way. Keep going. 